what happened was I was failing algebra. I failed algebra. I failed geometry. I failed uh, what, what, calculus and chemistry. And uh, there was this calculus teacher that said, all right, I'm going to offer uh, calculus tutoring for anyone who's willing to come to the campus during the winter break. And I thought, this is an opportunity. Someone's going to tutor me. This is great. And, and I remember specifically it cost $1.35 to get on the bus, to, to get the bus there and back. And I didn't even have that. And I will never forget, it was the gas tenant. He knew I was so dedicated to go to school. He loaned me, not loaned, he basically gave it because I never had a chance to pay him back, but he gave me $1.35 each way so I could catch a bus two hours to get to the That's campus cool. and sit there. And I thought everyone was gonna show up. There was only myself. And, and I thought to myself, this is such a blessing. And I sat there and I, I picked his brain. I'm like, what does an integral mean? Uh, what does the, the tangent mean? Uh, what does the instantaneous rate mean? And these are all words for derivative and, and calculus. And I got a chance to sit down with them. And that was the first time ever that I realized I was smart. And when I sat with him, uh, it was amazing because I realized what was stopping me was my own fear. It wasn't it wasn't anything with my educational aspect. It was me thinking I couldn't do well in mathematics. And when I learned to remove that fear and think, I'm gonna do this no matter what's gonna happen. I may fail it, I may not fail it. I'm gonna do well at this and I'm gonna just, just see where it goes. I'm gonna put my all into it and find out. And I put my all into it and I failed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I put my all into it and I felt, but it, it, something inside of me shifted. I realized, hey, failing wasn't that bad. If I can, if I can like spend a little bit more time at it, I can actually do really well at this. And that was the shift in thinking. I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna spend some more time in it and I'm gonna actually get this. And I went to a Cal State Northridge and I'm very thankful that was the best school I could have gone to. Because I had taken calculus and I'd taken those classes over, I scored relatively high on the placement test. And so the job, the only, this is how ironic life is, the only job that I got first when I was in college was a math tutoring job. That's ironic. I know, isn't it? And I remember telling the boss that hired me, I told her, I don't know half this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so she says, that's all right, just sit down with him and just read the book with him. And I looked and I'm like, are you sure? And she said, yeah, just, just sit down and read the book with him. I'm like, okay, I mean, if I get paid to do this, sure. And so I, I sat down with the, with the uh, students and it was, uh, they were, it was stressful too because I didn't know what uh, half the terminology or anything was in the books. And I would sit down with them, I'm like, okay, I'm here to tutor you. You're like, well, how do you do this? And I, I just tell them the truth. I have no idea. I'm going to read the book with you. And they thought I was joking. <laughs> and so we literally sat and read the book together. And I found myself reading the algebra books, reading the geometry books, reading the calculus books, reading the statistics books, literally reading and studying. And, I thank Jane Pinkerton because had she not hired me into that role, I would not have graduated top five wow. out of a 65 hundred graduating class. It was because I sat down and worked with the students. I had, when I overcome my own fear, it was when I was working with someone else and recognizing that the person next to me was the exact mirror of myself. And as if as I could help that person right next to me, I was helping myself at the same time. And it became this teamwork. Every single person on the campus needed mathematics. And so I got a chance to know everybody on the campus and became one of the most popular people because everyone needed mathematics. And that confidence that was built from taking something that I failed at before and shifting my thinking about it and embracing it to actually create a new reality for myself, that's what empowered me. And that's what allowed me to graduate top of my class, which later on opened up the door to launch rocket.